Hi all, Craig and Latte here. It's that time again where I bring you my tips, facts, or experience that you may or may not find helpful. With patch 10.1 comes many tasty new features, one of which is cross-faction guilds. Yes, you can now invite friends of either faction into your guild or join someone else's. However, as of right now, this is not as simple as you'd think it would be. The rules with this new feature stipulate as follows. Guild affiliation with the Alliance or Horde will depend on the faction of the guild leader. The guild achievements and vendors will still reflect the guild's primary faction. Alright, that's fine. Not a big deal. Guild members of the opposite faction will benefit from unlocked shared perks, but cannot contribute to specific achievements. As an example, Alliance members of a Horde guild could not contribute progress towards the Alliance Slayer guild achievement. Alright, that's fair. Sounds reasonable. Guild repairs and social conveniences, like shared chat, will be available to opposite faction guild members. Good. Great. That's good. Players must be Battle.net friends or part of the same Battle.net community to invite or receive an invitation to an opposite faction guild on the same realm? Hold on. Yeah, now we see where the problem is. So that last one is the one that poses an issue, because it prevents normal guild invite processes for opposite faction characters. You saw the title of this guide. The players this really affects are those of us who use guilds as personal banks that contain all of our alts. The reason that's a pain is because you are not your own Battle.net friend. That's kind of a cruel statement. You can see here that I have two accounts up. I'm trying to invite a Horde alt to my Alliance guild, and I can't because we are not Battle.net friends. And I cannot friend my own account if it's on the same Battle.net. And what's worse, the factions have been limited from what we can and can't see. You cannot go into the Guild Finder and see opposite faction guild postings, which prevents your opposite faction alts from being able to join your guild as you would normally without the help of someone else or a second account. And you can't use a second account anyways in this case. You also cannot promote an opposite faction character to the rank of Guildmaster. And opposite faction members, even if they have the correct rank, cannot post a guild recruitment in the Guild Finder. So, uh, what do we do? Well, don't worry, I've got you covered. So, because the setup for this can be a little bit confusing, I'm just going to walk it through you step by step live. Slowly. So, get on your main character, your guild master for your own personal guild. That is step one. It needs to be at least an officer, but I would recommend the guild master. It'll make things a lot easier. So open up your guild and communities tab so you can get your window. And then we're going to hit join or create community. I'm creating a fresh one because I did not already have one, which is what I recommend you do. If you have one, I'm sure the steps will be similar, but regardless, pay close attention. So. Pick the top one here. If we want a World of Warcraft community, name it whatever you want. I'm gonna call it Friendship is Magic, just because it wants a short name. Magic. My alt is the description. You can name it whatever you want. Um, let's see, let's change the icon here. Um, cake, because that's cute. Now we hit Create Community. Okay, you've made a community. Now that you have a community, you are the guild master of your guild and the owner of your community. So what we're going to do now is go to community settings and hit cross faction. You have to enable it here. That way it can be a cross faction community. You don't want to list it in the community finder unless you want other people to see it. And no, unfortunately, the opposite faction of you, so like I'm Alliance, Horde cannot see the list in the community finder, even if I list that, unfortunately. So go ahead and leave that off. That way you don't get random people trying to join. And now it is a cross-faction community. So we're going to do two things here before we move on 
that we need to get ready. First, go to your guild, the guild tab here on the side, and click in your guild chat. The reason we want this is because hit invite member and link post in chat. You see how it's got us the yellow guild and our name here? Ras Novodiva Porthos, that is the name of my guild. We want that. Don't hit enter though. It needs to be yellow because click on friendship is magic or whatever you named your community and it's still yellow. Now hit enter. You've now posted the link, the clickable link for your guild in your community. And it's important because that's how we're going to get your alts in the guild. <laughs> now, there's another step. Don't leave just yet. So, invite member in the community. Invite member. Invite link. Now, we want link options. You can set whatever options you want here. I'm going to keep mine limited just because I don't need it to be, you know, forever. But we want to generate new link. And that was cancel both those just to be sure. Um, if, if you want this link forever, you can set it to never and unlimited. You can change the uses of it. I'm going to keep mine short just because. Generate new link. Copy link. And now it gets even better. Open up your browser to your internet, whatever you use, and paste the link into the URL that you were just given. Now you can see it has pulled you to this code. This code here is going to be different for everyone. This is the important one. Copy that and save it anywhere, especially if it's a long-term one. Save that like in your Discord or write it down. I'd, I'd recommend you have it on your computer so it's copy and pasted. So I have saved that in my Discord. You can't see that part. You can now close out of this window. It's gone. And now you have your link that you're going to now post, not here, but on a different character. So exit out of this and now get on the character that you want to get into your community slash guild. All right, so first things first, now that you're in a horde character, make sure you hit G quit. So you leave the current guild. This character is already not in a guild because I had, had them prepped, but leave your guild and now join or create community just like before. But down here, this is where you post that code that you just got. It's an invitation link. And all of a sudden this character is in a friendship of magic. And I can see the backlog of the chat. There's my guild. And because it's a clickable link, I can click on it. And now I can apply. This is my personal guild apply. Okay, I have now applied. And now this should seem familiar if you've invited alts to your guild before. So you log out. Log back into your main. And now, now that you're on this character... Open your guild and communities, go to community, go to guild, excuse me. And in your roster, you should see something familiar. Applicants. There it is. There is my horde character. I'm going to invite them. And just like before in the past, how you've invited your alts. <laughs> get back on that character. And go to your guild and suddenly you will see you have been invited to your own guild. This is a horrid character being invited to my alliance guild. Bam. I am now in. Now, I invited a character, but now the setup is done. If you made what I recommended and did a long-term link, you don't need to redo the link that you got for your community. Mine's a temporary one just because I don't need it. However, this link here is now permanent in your community. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to show you because now the setup is done. You're good. You've got your community and your guild is ready. I'm going to get on a different character here, another horde character. And this is how it's going to be from here on out. There's just a couple extra steps. 
every time you want to get a horde character into your alliance guild or an alliance character into your horde guild because the guild is the faction of whoever owns it. So, this character's already in that one. So let's G, quit. I've left the guild, so now I am able to get into a community. Just like before, join or create community. Let's post that code. We've joined. We see this. We hit apply. And just like a normal invite, you then get back on your main character or anyone else who can accept applications, accept it, and get back on this one, and your application will have been accepted. And that, as much of a pain as it is, is how you get your opposite faction characters into your personal guild. You don't need a second account. This is all same account as you saw in this guide. So hopefully that helps you. You have no idea what kind of headache I went through to get to, get to this conclusion. There you go. Happy gilding. Did you know I stream on Twitch now? I do everything from transmog to leveling to gold making, and I'm live five days a week to chat with. So come hang out. And there we have it. If you think I've missed information or you want to request I do a specific guide, let me know in the comments below. Even if I don't answer you, I just might add your idea to my list. As always, thank you so much for watching, and remember, it's never too latte.